And we're using a very specific anchor in the body in DPR because we're, we argue that the first response when orienting to anything happening is a tension around the face, the back of the neck, that that's the first response. And if we're able to pick that up and focus on it, it gives an anchor for the processing to, to prevent overwhelm and to prevent the, the, the distress becoming extreme to the point that dissociation occurs. So that anchor allows processing to flow in the way that the brain needs it to flow for healing. So what I understand is that uh, DBR help us go to the basic affects and process, help the client process without getting overwhelmed. Am I understanding right? That's certainly the aim of DBR and that's been my experience generally with it. That, and it's you know greatly to my surprise at times that having the orienting tension um, it's, it's, acts as an anchor that prevents the overwhelming affects, that prevents dissociation from coming in. So we can access the underlying pain uh, caused by the trauma that uh, has all this symptomatology and uh, all these different ways to appear and disrupt a person's life. Yeah. <clears throat> and, and if it's very early relational trauma, interpersonal trauma, for example, then there may be a very deeply held pain um, which is not really recognised because it triggers affects like fear and rage and grief and shame. So the affects tend to take over the awareness. If we can find a way into this deep level process, then we get the orienting tension and that allows us to go into the pain and all the affects that flow without getting overwhelmed. It allows us to stay with them so that the brain can process them in whatever way it needs to.